Hey YouTubers, happy Valentine's Day. Wow, the hell is that? It is, it was like 90 degrees here. Um, it is February 14th, Valentine's Day in sunny Southern California. Um, it was damn hot. I got my fan blowing behind me, my ceiling fan going. Um, I have yet to put the air conditioning on. It's almost seven o'clock in the evening. I don't think I want to do that, but um, it is warm and I am going to vlog because it is Valentine's Day. I've been super emotional the last couple days leading up to this day because why? Well, Valentine's Day is Lover's Day and I don't have a lover. Um, and I pretty much um, have not had a long-term relationship in many years, um, not for lack of desire or, or trying, it uh, just has never happened, it's never materialized. Or if I've been in a relationship, it went down south really quick. And not the good down south, if you know what I'm talking about. See, that's the old 50-year-old pervert coming out. You know, you turn a certain age, and if and you don't have a partner, all you think about is, is sex. And that's the honest to God's truth. I don't have a moment in my day that I don't think about sex. So I'm a dirty old woman now. The big 5-0 came and went, and I'm in the 50-year-old woman mode. Uh, the reason why I'm also vlogging is because I have some very good news. I am an author of a book that should be out within the next few weeks, and I will put all the information in the information, uh, the, the description box. I don't vlog a lot anymore on YouTube because it's almost near to impossible to do so because to put your videos out there, I don't know how to, I do not know how to get them out there. Uh, there, it's almost, I have almost 900 subscribers and when I go to send out emails, it doesn't allow me to send in groups anymore. If I go to do it, it says that there is dead accounts. I don't know which accounts they are. They don't tell you which accounts that are dead. So you can't send them out. So it's very frustrating. And I'm going to have to try to figure something else out. Now, um, I getting back to my book, which is extremely important because this has been a effort of blood, sweat, and tears for me. Um, as some of you know, I had a documentary that was made uh, about my YouTube channel, about me, and it screened in Hollywood in 2012. And it was received very well, but um, it wasn't a large enough audience, and we want to get it out there more. So we do also want to try to fundraise. I will also put that information in the description so that there's Mindy A12 uh, merchandise that you can purchase, t-shirts with yours truly on it. And, um, and they're really inexpensive and it's kind of fun. So I will put that down there. But we are trying to get it back into film festivals. And also we would like to get it on Netflix and Amazon and all of that. So we need to make some money to do so. I am really not a good hawker. Uh, asking for money um, at all. So getting back to the book, the book is called Oi, O-Y exclamation point, Own Yourself. It's a book about me as a middle-aged woman out on the dating game out there trying to make it every day being single, having a chronic illness, uh, pain syndrome like fibromyalgia, 
um, dealing with adversity, the way I grew up, um, certain uh, heartbreaks, certain joys, and some of it is very funny, some of it not so funny. So I will put my website, my Facebook page, all of that good stuff down there so that you can go ahead and check that out. As soon as the book is out, of course, I will spread it all over the internet as much as I possibly can so that we can uh, hopefully get a large audience and people will be interested in enough uh, to purchase the book. And it will go out on Amazon first. Um, I'm going to self-publish it that way. and then. But I am going to be sending it to the larger publishing companies. You know, you can't... you. You don't know until you try. So today is Valentine's Day. It's a perfect day to tell you guys all about this book because a lot of it revolves around love, unrequited love, um, and also not being in love at all and being miserable. And, uh, you know, so perfect. Valentine's Day is a perfect time to put it out there. What did you think? So um, I'm just kind of going to tell you that the last couple days leading up to today, very emotional. I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday and they did not know about John Reed, my, sec my second husband, who I adored and who I've talked about um, and who uh, had passed away from a self-inflicted gunshot wound nine years after we had broken off and uh, died at 46 years old on November 19th, 2006, right before Thanksgiving. Um, he and I had been together for six and a half years, married four and a half years. And about four and a half years, we were very happy with each other. Um, the earthquake happened uh, January 17th, 1994, and it blew our world apart. We lost one of the most precious things uh, to us all. My mother had had a massive stroke the moment the earthquake hit. She never recovered. Nine months later, she passed away. Uh, we lost our video game and vending machine business that John had had for many years. And we were doing pretty okay. We were not rich, not wealthy, not over the top uh, financially secure at all. But we were well. Uh, on, I guess, our way to probably being okay financially. And um, he lost his business. Um, the building that we managed at the time, uh, we had been there for two years before the earthquake, and we were very happy there. But after the earthquake, things changed with the company that we worked for, and it was just misery. And to, to just, long story short, we fell apart, um, literally, emotionally, physically, and financially, we were destroyed. And so I was, I, I was explaining the love that I had for this man and that he had for me uh, to this person that I was talking to. And um, I just, I was sobbing. I... Tears just blinded me, and I was completely and totally reliving the loss over again. Now, I had left John Reed uh, in 1997 uh, because of his attempts before that he failed at to, to take his life, doing a lot of alcohol, drugs more than likely also, I, I don't know for sure. But uh, he was dropping out of my life, my children's life, out of life. And it was getting to the point where he wasn't there any longer. And this, been, this had been going on for two years before I did leave. And I did not want to leave. We discussed many times about him getting help. He did not want to get help. And I lost him. I lost him. I left, but I lost him. I lost him ever, you know, long before I ever left. So I left him, and we kept in touch. That was in 97, kept in touch until 2000 he, when he moved to San Antonio, Texas to be closer to his son. 
We kept in contact two more years. He met somebody else. I backed completely off. And in 2002, I never talked to him again. Found out because of a dream that I had, or maybe a visitation by him, uh, I was sleeping. I felt the bed go down. I felt the bed shaking. I opened my eyes, and he, he was in bed, on the side of my bed, crying, sobbing. I couldn't reach out to him. It, if it was a dream, it was a prophetic dream. Um, it was something that I'd never experienced anything like that before. I must have fallen back to sleep or daybreak uh, came. I went, I was compelled to go to the internet. I went to the internet, looked up obituaries in San Antonio, and within three minutes or so, I found his obituary that he had died five months prior. This was in April of 2007 that I had had this dream. He had killed himself in November of 2006. Um, I knew that his sister lived in Hawaii, who I had never had any issues with. I did call her um, and confirmed with her that he had passed away. I told her how I found out because she was like, how did you find out? And she's like, oh, my God. And then she told me how he had uh, taken his own life. This man was my world, my children and him. So many years have passed since losing him. But on a day like today, and knowing that today was coming up, and I haven't been feeling well. I've had an intestinal flu since Monday early morning. I was even out of work for four days. Just went back to work today, and now I get the weekend to rest a little bit more. I was emotional, and um, I dread this day. Because it, nobody has ever done what he used to do to me and do, do to me, do for me on Valentine's Day. And every day, he didn't have to just wait until Valentine's Day. He would write love notes to me every day. We wrote love notes to each other back and forth. We had a notepad in the bathroom, folks, that we would constantly write love notes to each other. It was sweet. Or we take soap and write on the mirror how much we loved each other. But that was every day. But Valentine's Day was always something very special for us. And it makes today, in the present, difficult for me. I have not had anybody in my life since then that's ever touched me so deeply and so significantly. And I'm almost at 15 minutes. But anyway, um, I just, it's very difficult. I don't hate Valentine's Day. I just dread it. I know that some people are so miserable that they say, oh, bah humbug, and it sucks, and you're all stupid. It's a commercial holiday. It's really, you know, it's just crap. And it's like, you know what? When you're in love, it's not crap. When you've experienced such a great love, it's not crap. It may be hard to deal with. You could sit at home and you could eat your grilled Swiss cheese sandwich and chicken noodle soup for a romantic one person Valentine's Day uh, like I did today, which brought me to wanting to really do this vlog because it's sad to be alone but it is always better to have loved and lost than not to love, not to have loved at all. And that is so true because my memories with John carry me through every day. The bad stuff I push aside and I squash because there was so much good about our relationship and our love for each other. It was exquisite. It was sweet. If you had not have fallen and I would not have found you, angel flying too close to the ground. I patched up your broken wings 
hung around for a while, tried to keep your spirits up, your fever down. So beat me if you need to, but I will still remember angel flying too close to the ground. That was you, John. You just came to me and whatever we needed to do for each other, we did at that time. And I am so blessed. Happy Valentine's Day to all my friends and my family. I love you all very much. And please check out my Facebook and the website for the book. Oi, own yourself.